Minnesota is a step closer to having a helium mine in the Iron Range. That resource was discovered by accident years ago outside of Babbitt. It could be one of the richest helium reservoirs in the world. WCCO's Jonah Kaplan takes us to the work site to see the latest step toward a potential mine. The rain was not about to wash away the hype. When we see the flow measurements from this, and we have these next steps, I think we're gonna, we're gonna be very, very happy. Michael Sturdy is the operations manager for Pulsar Helium, a global team of scientists and engineers who in February successfully dug down nearly half a mile to confirm a reservoir of helium gas. Since then, crews have lined the hole. They've capped it. They've also installed this special equipment that's almost like a faucet. And if it works, this is what a full service mine might look like. This is a critical step because this, the calculations off the flow test and the pressure buildup will go to reservoir engineers and they'll do some calculations and they can then calculate do we have a, a bigger resource than originally looked at. What's already known is that the market for helium has ballooned to billions of dollars worldwide and there's limited supply. Yes, it's used for balloons, but when turned into a liquid, helium safely cools everything from rocket ships to MRI machines to R&D equipment at the U. The U.S. used to be a major supplier of helium, not anymore, which is why a helium mine right smack dab in the middle of the country could be a gold mine. After a short delay, the crew is ready for a flow test. Now watch that rag. That's Mother Nature's roar. No wonder the project is dubbed Jetstream One. Well, for me, it's it's just you know I do I do this for a living you know in in North Dakota, um, but to come over here you know it's it's just exciting. AJ Cardenas grew up in Minnesota and has family in Babbitt. That makes him among Pulsar's first local hires. If these wells can produce what they are hoping for that they can produce, you know I think it means more you know on a global and uh, you know and and more on a national level. Pulsar executives estimate another year or two of tests before potentially building a production facility. There's not a generic plant per se for, for helium at the well site. It has to be tailor made for the, the well that you have, the gas composition and these pressure and rates that we're looking at. In Babbitt, Jonah Kaplan, WCCO News. The DNR has no regulations for mining gas, but state lawmakers just passed a bill to change that. Creating those rules and how to enforce them could take a few years.